Praise the Lord. Tonight we are here because there is God in heaven who does all things well here on earth. And we are talking about him. We are not talking about me. We are not talking about anyone. We are talking about the God of all possibilities. And in your life tonight, you will make all things possible. Let me hear a good amen. Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Ang Diyos, ang Diyos ng lahat ng posibilidad. Amen. Let's pray together. Tayo po'y manalangin. Father, we thank you. Panginoon, salamat po. God, a creator, we thank you. Diyos na manglilikha, pinupuri ka na. Jesus, the Son of God. Panginoong Iso Kristo na anak ng Diyos. Our Lord, Redeemer and Savior. Ang tagapagligtas at manunubos. We exalt you tonight. Itinataas ka namin ngayong gabi. Holy Ghost, the power of God. Banal na Espiritu. We welcome you here. Diyos. Ikaw ay welcome sa and lugar we na ito. And we know tonight. Hali kayo sa gabi nito. As we exalt Christ. Itinataas ka namin sa gabi nito. As we exalt the Savior. Itinataas namin ang tagapagintas habang itinataas namin ang aming manggagamot ang Diyos na magbibigay ng lahat ng pangailangan. Makikita namin ang mga kababalaghan at himala sa gabing ito. Ang kaligtasan. Ang pagpapagaling. Ang kasagutan sa lahat ng pangalangan. Purihin ang kalwalatian ng iyong pangalan. And for the blessing of your people. Sa harapan ng iyong mga tao. Thank you, Lord. Salamat, Panginoon. In Jesus' name we pray. Sa pangalan ng Panginoon Jesus. And everybody shout, Amen. At lahat ay sumigaw ng Amen. God bless you. You can sit down. Tonight, we are talking on the possibilities of of God's unchanging power. Ngayon ay pag-uusapan natin ang walang imposible sa hindi nagbabagong kapangyarihan ng Panginoon. Unfailing possibilities. Unfailing possibilities ang hindi nagbabagong posibilidad. The possibilities that never fail. Lahat ng posibilidad ay pwedeng mangyari. It is in the past. It is in the present. Sa ngayon. And it will do it for everyone that has a need over there today. At ito ngayon ay para sa lahat ng nangangailangan ng kasagutan ng pangalangin. It's the God who saves. Ang Diyos ang nagsabi. It's the God who heals. Ang Panginoon ang nagpapagaling. It's the God who delivers from every oppression you may have. Ang Panginoon ang nagpapagaling sa lahat ng oppression ng masamang espiritu. Let me read the words of Jesus to you. Ito ang sinasabi ng banal na kasulatan. In Matthew chapter 19. Sa Matthew. Heyo, kabanatang labing siyam. Pagkumpisa sa dalawang putanim. Remember these are the words of Jesus. Pakinggan natin ang salita ng Panginoon. It's the truth, the life, and it's the way. Ang Panginoong Iso Kristo, ang katotohanan at ang hindaan. Everything He says is true. Ang lahat ng sinabi niya ay katotohanan. He was true at that time. Totoo ito nung nangyari sa nakakas. It is true at this time. Totoo ito sa panahong ito. It says in Matthew chapter 19 verse 26. Ang sabi ng Panginoon sa Mateo na labing siyang talagadang dalawang buwan anin. But Jesus beheld them and said unto them. Sinabi ng Panginoon sa kanila. With men this is impossible. Sa mga tao ito ay imposible. But with God, all things are possible. So, balit sa Diyos, lahat ay possible. With men. Amen. Experts. Great men. Powerful men. Even those experts, even those powerful men, they'll find this impossible. Ang lahat ng makapangyarihan, ang lahat ng mga tao dito, hatgang sa iba't mong mundo, lahat ay pwedeng mangyari ang but, posible. But he says, everything impossible with man is possible with God. Ang lahat na nagsasabi, imposible ito sa mga tao, subalit sa Diyos, lahat God, ay posible. All things are possible. Sa Diyos, lahat ay posible. Everything possible in your life. Lahat ay posible sa Diyos sa iyong buhay. Everything possible in your family. 
ang Dios ay ang lahat ay posible sa iyong pamilya. Possible in your situation. Possible sa lahat ng kalagayan ng buhay mo. For your heart, for your spirit, for your soul, sa for your puso, mind, sa for your spirit, for your isip, body, sa iyong katawan. Everything. Lahat. Everything. Lahat. Possible. Possible. For the sinner. Para sa isang makasalan. Everyone. When God comes upon your life. Ang Panginoon ay hihipuin ang ibig. And when He takes hold of your life tonight. Hihipuin ka ng Panginoon sa gabing ito. Everything you need. Lahat ng pangangailangan mo. Everything you desire. Lahat ng pangangailangan na tinanais mo. Everything you pray for. Lahat ng pinapanalangin mo. Every prayer here tonight. Lahat ng pananalangin sa gabing ito. God will answer. Ay tutugunin ng ating Panginoon. Because with God. Sa Diyos. All things. Lahat. Everything, lahat, lahat, possible. Ay possible. That's why we're looking at the unfailing possibilities of God's unchanging power. Kaya ngayon ay papakinggan natin ang mensahe na walang hanggang, walang posibilidad, walang sa. How? How will it be done? How will it be done? Papano ito mangyayari? Angel tells us in Luke chapter one. Sinasabi sa Lucas uno. Reading from verse twenty-four. Sinabi na Maria. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, since seen I know not a man? Papano mangyayari ito? Wala ako ng kilalang lalaki. How shall this be? Papano mangyayari ito? Because. This is impossible. What the angel announced that a virgin shall conceive. How will that happen? Since I know not a man. Sinabi ni Maria, paano mangyayari to? Ang sinabi ng angel sa akin ay isang opisible. Wala kung kini kilalang lalaki. In verse thirty-five, and the angel answered and said unto her, the Holy Ghost. Shall overshadow you. Come upon you. Ang banal na espirito. Overshadow you. Ang banal na espirito ay lililiman ka. And the power of the highest shall come upon you. Ang pinakamakapangyarihan ay lililiman ka. Also, that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son. Of the highest. Ang banal na ito ay papanganak at tatawagin siyang anak ng Dios. Verse thirty-six. It says, "And behold, the cousin Elizabeth, she has also received a son in her old age." Tatanggap din ng isang lalaki ng anak sa kanyang katandaang idad. Look at verse thirty-seven. It was started seven, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. Sa Diyos, walang imposible. For the God of heaven, nothing shall be impossible. Walang imposible. For the God, our Creator, ang Diyos na manglilikha, nothing shall be impossible. Walang imposible sa Kanya. For our God that works wonders, nothing. Shall be impossible. Ang Dios ng gumagawa ng mga himala, walang imposible sa kanya. And as you come tonight, as you listen tonight, pag nakinig ka ngayong gabi, you understand that God will do all things in your life. Mauunawaan mo ang Dios ay gagawin ang lahat ay magiging possible sa iyong buhay. Think about anything you want. Think about anything you are praying for. Isipin mo ang lahat ng nais mong Think ilapit sa kanya. Ano man ang hingiin mo sa kanya. Tonight is the night of the manifestation of the power of God. Ngayon ay papakita ng Diyos ang kanyang makapangyarihang paggawa. Always God, nothing shall be possible. Sa sa Diyos ang lahat ay posible. The unfailing possibilities of God's unchanging power. Ang walang hanggang Possibilidad ang hindi nagbabagong kapangyarihan ng Panginoon. Tatlong bagay sa gabing ito. Number one is on salvation. 
Ang, is, ang una ay tungkol sa pagliligtas. Number two is on healing. Ang pangalawa ay sa pagpapagaling. And number three is the performance of God in your life by a miracle. Ang pangatlo ay ang paggawa ng Diyos sa mahimalang bagay number sa iyong buhay. Number one, the generous promise of God to save. Ang una ay ang walang hanggang promesa o pangako ng Diyos sa pagliligtas. Generous promise of God. Ang generous na pangako ng ating Panginoon. So generous, He promises salvation for everyone all over the world. Ang lahat ng pangako ng Panginoon ay para sa ating lahat. Our God is not a stingy God. Ang Diyos ay hindi maramot. Our God is not a partial God. Ang Diyos ay hindi namimili ng tao. Our God is not a limited God. Hindi limitado ang Diyos. Because of that, is generous in His promises. Dahil doon, ang Diyos ay bukas loob sa the, Kanyang mga pangako. The generous promise of God to save. Bukas palad ang Panginoon sa pagliligtas ng mga tao. Number two. Pangalawa. Is the genuine power of God that heals. Ang totoong kapangyarihan ng Diyos na magpapagaling. Genuine power. Totoong kapangyarihan. Not fake. Hindi peke. Not a counterfeit. Hindi ginaya lamang. Not superficial. Hindi pang mababaw lamang. The genuine power of God Ito'y that tunay heals. Ito'y na kapangyarihan ng Diyos and na when nagpapagaling. And when that genuine power heals you, na the healing ako, remains. Nananalangin ako, ang tunay na kapangyarihan ng Diyos ay pagalingin ka sa damit ito. The abides. Ang pagpapagaling ng Panginoon. Number three. Pangatlo. Is the gentle's perception of God in all sincerity. Ang mga taong hindi nakakakilala sa Panginoon, ang pagtangin ng mga tao the sa katotohanan ng ating Panginoon. Of God in all sincerity. Ano ang tingin ng mga tao na hindi nakakakilala sa Panginoon? Let's look at them one by one. Number one, the generous promise of God to save. Masagana, bukas palad, ang pangako ng Diyos na in, ililigtas tayo. In Isaiah chapter 45. Sa Isaiah 45. Reading there from verse 22. Mula talatang 22. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 22. Isaiah 45. Here God 22. is talking. Here the Almighty is talking. Here the God of all possibility speaking to you directly. Ang Diyos mismo ang nagsasalita sa iyo. He says, Look unto me, and be ye saved all the ends of the earth. For Tum I am God, and there is none else. Tignan ninyo ko, ako ang Diyos sa lahat ng kalupaan, sa sang sinukob, wala nang iba. You see how, the general, how generous the promise is. Ang pangako ng Panginoon ay It says, all the ends of the earth Sa buong mundo, sa buong sang sinukob Anywhere you are on the map Anywhere you are on the globe All uh, the ends of the earth Kahit sa ang lupalop ka man ng mundo At ng sang sinukob Whatever problem you have Ano man ang suliranin mo Whatever setbacks you have Ano man ang pinagdaraanan mo Whatever impossibility might be your life Lahat ng mga imposible sa buhay mo Look unto me Tingnan natin ang A Panginoon ang sabi niya At maliligtas saved. ka Maliligtas ka Salvation available for everyone Ang kaligtasan ay para generous. sa lahat Promise of God Ito for your salvation. Ang na ng Diyos, and it says, ang don't look at me. Tingnan mo ako, ang sabi ng Panginoon, this is impossible for man. Ito ay impossible sa mga tao. Don't look at any human. Tingnan ng mga tao, impossible. This ito. is impossible for any human. Impossible ito sa isip ng mga Don't tao. Don't look at any great man in the world. 
kahit na pinakamagaling na tao sa buong mundo. Says, look away from them. Look away from them. Wag mo silang tignan, wag mong pakinggan. And look unto me. Tignan natin ang look Panginoon unto Diyos. The Savior. Tignan natin ang tagapagligtas. Look unto the Lord. Tumingin, tumingala sa look Panginoon. Look unto the God that so loves the world that gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. Sapagkat gayon na lamang ang pag-ibig ng Diyos kaya ibinigay niya ang kanyang bugtong na anak upang sino mang sumampalataya kan sa kanya me, ay magkaroon ng buhay malanggan. Tignan ninyo ako ang tanging tagapagligtas. Tignan ninyo ako lamang ang may kapangyarihang magligtas. Kaya kong iligtas ang pinakamasamang makasalanan. Don't look at yourself. Wag mong tignan ang sarili mo. Don't look at the great condemnation you have. Wag mong tignan ang lahat ng paghuhusga sa iyo. Don't sayo. look at how dirty and deep your sins are. Tignan mo kung gaano kakasalanan. Don't look at what people say wag about mong, you. Wag mong titignan at papakinggan ang sinasabi ng mga tao sa iyo. They say I am bad. Ang sabi ng Diyos, masamang tao ka. Don't look at that. Huwag mong tignan yan. The sabi ng mga tao. People like you cannot get saved. Ang kapareho mong tao, hindi may liligtas. Don't look at that. Huwag mong tignan yan. The same you've gone tignan so yan. far, so deep, and so far in sinfulness. Don't look at that. Kahit na anong kalalim ang kasalanan mo, huwag mong tignan yan. The same you're weak. The same you're weak. Weak, not strong. Ang natin. And that you are not strong enough to be saved. Don't look at that. Wag mong tignan ang lahat ng kahinaan mo. They say, even look at today, even today proves that you are so bad and you are coming to the crusade. Don't look at that. Wag mong tignan na masama ka, subalit ikaw ay pumunta dito sa crusade na ito. Wag mong tignan yan. The solution to your problem ang solusyon sa iyong problema salvation for you ang kaligtasan mo is in the secret ay nasa sikreto look unto me tignan mo ako sabi and ng Diyos be ye saved at ikaw ay maliligtas as I write that sentence to you there, there are two parts there dalawang parts ito dalawang bahagi two parts to that sentence I read to you dalawang bahagi ang mayroon dito part one look una, unto me una Tignan mo ako, sabi but, ng Panginoon. But you are being saved. Pangalawa, ay maliligtas ka. And there is no wall of demarcation between the two parts of the sentence. Ito ay dalawang bahagi na napakahalaga sa, sa sentence na ito. One look. Una. Salvation will come. Tumingin. One look by faith. At ikaw ay maliligtas One sa pamamagitan ng pananampalataya. Sa isang tingin sa Panginoon, One maliligtas ka. Trust him. Isang tingin at magtiwala ka sa One Kanya. One look as you accept what Christ did on the cross of Calvary. Tumingin ka sa Kanya at ang ginawa ng Panginoong Yesu Cristo sa krus ng Calvary. And you don't have to come back to get saved. At hindi ka kinakailangang bumalik-balik para maligtas ka. One look of faith will get salvation to you. Isang tingin sa Panginoon, maliligtas ka at darating ang kaligtasan sa iyo. Look unto me, what's the result? You're saved. Tumingin ka sa akin at ang resulta and ay kaligtasan. And all the ends of the earth. Hanggang sa walang hanggan all the sa buong ends mundo. Of the earth. Sa buong mundo. Any Island, you come from all the ends of the earth. Ano mang isla galing ka sa buong Pilipinas. If you came from another province, all the ends of the earth. Kahit sa ang probinsya ka gagaling. Look unto him and be saved. Tumingin ka sa kanya at maliligtas ka. All the ends of the earth. Sa buong mundo. For, that word for means because. Iyan ang sabi ng Panginoon. Because sapagkat how do I get saved? Paano ko maliligtas? Because I cry. No. 
Dahil umiyak ako, Because ako. I fall on the ground, I roll on the ground, no. Dahil bumagsak ako sa lupa at nagpagulong-gulong ako, Because maliligtas ako. Because during Easter, I go to the people and say, crucify me. I want to suffer the pain. Nag Because I do that, no. Nagsimba ako, nagpinitensya ako, nung mahal na araw, maliligtas na ako, hindi. How do I get saved? Papano ko maliligtas? Because they put pebbles on the ground, I broke in uh, bottles on the ground and I lie on it and roll on it. No! Dahil ikaw ay humiga sa mga basag na bote at sa mga bato, maliligtas ka? How do I get saved? Papano ko maliligtas? Because I suffer for my sin? No! Dahilan sa aking pagpapakasakit sa kasalanan ko? Hindi! Because I am God and there is none else. Sa pagkat Ako ang Diyos. Wala nang iba ang sabi ng Panginoon. Tatanggapin mo ang kaligtasan. Personal suffering does not bring salvation. Ang mga kasakitan sa buhay hindi nagbibigay ng kaligtasan niya. Voluntary poverty does not bring salvation. Ang pagpapakasakit, pagpapakahirap sa buhay hindi makakalaling sa your son, your daughter, ada in the river anywhere does not bring salvation. Ialay mo man ang anak mo, ang anak mong babae, at anuman sa buhay mo, hindi Bring in all the money you have and put in it in a church does not bring salvation. Kahit na anong simbahan pa ang pasukan mo, hindi ka maliligtas. If you have to pay money, not everybody will have the salvation. Hindi mo mababayaran kahit na ganong kalaki the na pera ang kaligtasan. The generosity of God that brings salvation is because I am God and there is none else. Ang bukas palad ng Diyos na pagliligtas sapagkat sinabi niya, Ako ang Diyos! Tonight, Ako lamang! Tonight, I invite you Ngayong gabi, inaanyayahan ko kayo. To God. Tumitig na natin ang ating forget Panginoon. Forget your guilt and forget your condemnation. Huwag mong tignan ang mga kasalanan at forget ang kahapon. Forget the problems you have. Kalimutan mo ang lahat ng suliranin forget mo ngayon. Forget how great sin you have committed. Kalimutan mo ang kasalanang nagawa forget mo laban sa Kanya. Feel. Ano man ang nararamdaman mo. It is faith, not feeling. Ito'y sa pamamagitan ng pananampalataya, hindi lamang tonight, ng pakiramdam. I'll be giving you the invitation. Ngayong gabi, aanyayahan kita. I want to give you the invitation. Ibibigay ko All ang paanyaya sa inyo. All the Lord is asking for is, you ah, come to me. Ang hinihingi lamang ng Diyos sa iyo, tumingin ka sa akin. I'll be saved. At maliligtas ka. All the ends of the earth. Ang buong mundo. Because I am God. Sapagkat ako lamang I am ang the Diyos. God who saves. Ako ang magliligtas. I am the God who transforms lives. Ako ang makapagbabago ng buhay. I am the God who changes lives. Ang Diyos na makapagbabago. I am the God buhay. who redeems. Ako ang manunubos na Diyos. For I am God. Ako ang tanging Diyos. And there is none else. At wala nang iba. I come to point number two now. At pupunta ako sa pangalawang point puntos. Point number two is the genuine power that heals. Ang pangalawang punto ay ang tunay na kapangyarihan ng Diyos na makapagpapagaling. The genuine power that heals. Ang tunay na kapangyarihan na makapagpapagaling. This one is clear. Napakalinaw nito. It's the God who created our body. Ang Diyos na lumikha ng katawang ito. And the God who heals and repairs that body ang when Diyos anything goes wrong. Ang Diyos din magpapagaling ng lahat ng karamdaman natin. Did you hear the story? Pakinggan mo ang kasaysayang ito. A car broke down by the side of the road. Nasira ang isang sasakyan sa tabi ng kalsada. The driver, the owner of that car tried to touch this and push this and pull this and turn this, nothing worked. Sinubukan ng driver na kumpunuhin ang sasakyan, hindi po yan, kinumpunin yun, walang nangyari. And the man was there by the roadside with the broken down car. At nadoon ang isang tao na nakatingin. And somebody was passing by. May isang tao who saw na him helpless and hopeless. 
na walang pag-asa ang tao nang ito. And the fellow stopped the sonka. Lumapit ang tao na nakatira sa kanya. And he came kanya. down. Lumapit sa kanya. And said, what's wrong? Sinabi, what's your car? Anong problema ng uh, kotse mo? And the man said, I at don't know. Ang sabi ng tao, ng driver, pushed, hindi ko alam. I pushed and pushed and turned na, everything. Ginawa Nothing worked. Walang nangyari. And so, this man just went, opened the boat, thought this, touched this, five minutes, everything worked. Ang tao nito na tumulong sa kanya, sa loob lamang ng limang minuto, kinumpuni ang kotse, at the man with the broken down car was surprised. Nagulat ang tao na nagda-drive ng sasakyan. And so he said, Sir, At ang sabi what niya, did you do? Anong ginawa mo? Ginawa? How did you do this? Papaano mo nakumpuni ang sasakyan ko? The man ko? said, I am uh, mentioned his name and the name tallied with the uh, make of the car. I am the manufacturer. Ako ang gumawa ng sasakyan mo. Ako ang nagmanufacture ng kotse mo. It's a true story. Totoong istorya to. And because God is the manufacturer. Ang Diyos ang gumawa at because lumalang sa atin. Because God is the creator. Ang Diyos ang lumalang because sa ating lahat. Because God is the one that made us. Ang Diyos ang gumawa sa iyo at it, sa akin. You don't need to try this and try this and try that. Marami the tayong manufacturer. Sis- he is because he is the creator. Marami tayong sinusubok tungkol sa kaligtasan natin at makumpuni ang buhay natin pero wala nang nangyayari. Tonight, God the creator. Ngayon, ang Diyos na manglilikha. God the manufacturer. Ngayon, ang gumawa God, sa atin, ang manglilikha maker, sa atin. The maker of man. Ang manglilikha ng tao. He'll touch your brain. Hihipuin ang iyong isipan. Iisipin. He'll touch Hihipuin. every part of your body. Hihipuin ang bawat bahagi ng iyong katawan. Tonight, you are healed. Ngayong gabi, pinagaling ka ng Panginoon. Look at Matthew chapter 8. Tignan natin ang Mateo, Kabanatang labi- 16. Labing anim hanggang labing Matthew pito. chapter 8, verse 16. And when... The evening was come. Nang gabi na, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. Dinala nila ang mga tao na kinakasihan ng masasamang espiritu. And he cast out the devils, the spirits with his word. At pinalayas ng Panginoon and ang mga demonyo. He sa kanyang salita all that was sick. at pinagaling ang lahat ng may karamdaman. Do you notice something there? Tignan natin ito. They brought many, many, many that were possessed with devils, many that were sick. Dinala nila ang mga kinakasihan ng masamang espiritu, dinala nila ang lahat ng mga may karamdaman. Look at the last line there. Tignan ninyo ang huling bahagi. All that was see at tignan ninyo pinagaling ng Panginoon ang lahat ng may karamdaman you understand this, is, natin this is what is called healing in mass ito ang pagpapagaling sa, sa maraming tao there were many marami and he stood in one place na nakatayo sa lugar na yon sent forth the healing to everyone Subalit ang Panginoon, inutusan at pinagaling he ang lahat. He didn't have to go to them one by one by one. Hindi na inisa-isa ng Panginoong Iso Kristo. They didn't have to line up a long stretch hindi of na, people hindi that na, was sick. Hindi na kinakailangan pumila ng isa-isa para makabal- one gumaling. Word. Isang salita. Mass healing. Nagkaroon ng pagpapagaling sa lahat. Isang salita. Mass deliverance. Pinagaling at pinalaya One ang lahat. Word. Isang salita. And he healed all that was sick. At pinagaling ang lahat ng karamdaman. Healing and mass. Pinagaling ang lahat. That means tonight. Ngayong gabi. While you are there. Habang nariyan ka. And we mention the name of Jesus. 
Aking babanggitin ang pangalan ni Jesus. The healing takes place for everyone. At ang pagpapagaling ay mararanasan ng think, bawat isa. Think about it. Isipin mo ito. We make an altar call. Aanyayahan ko kayo dito you sa altar. You want ta. salvation. Kung kailangan mo ay paglilitas. Raise up your hand and stand up. Aanyayahan kong tumayo. And you raise up your hand and you stood up. Itataas mo ang iyong kamay, And mamaya, at ikaw ay tatayo. Come here, come here, come here. At aanyayahan kita, hali kayo, hali And kayo. Come. At lahat kayo ay paparito. And mass, salvation and mass. Kahit na gano'ng karami, ililigtas ng Panginoon. Salvation for everyone that Kalig comes. Kaligtasan para sa lahat ng lalapit sa And kanya. And the preacher doesn't have to go to this, spend five minutes and explain and pray and come to this and explain five minutes and pray and come to this and explain five minutes and get saved. If there are a thousand people, when will he finish? But, That salvation for all that come. Hindi isa isahin ng preacher limang minuto dito ipapaliwanag sa yon ipapanalangin limang minuto dito pag inanyayang ka at lumapit sa kanya lahat ay makakatanggap ng kaligtasan. The seed was healing. Papa galingin ka ng panginoon tatanggapin mo. Everyone who needs healing. Lahat ng nangangailangan ng kagalangan ng Panginoon, itas mo lang iyong kamay. And then we we'll say we're going to pray. At ikaw ay mananalangin. And all those individuals believe. At ang lahat ng mga nagtitiwala sa kanya. If you are 1000, if you are 2000, you isang libo, at dalawang libo. Mas healing. Lahat ay paggagalingin ng Panginoon ng lalapit sa Kanya. And the genuine power of God will And heal you. Yan ang tunay na kapangyarihan ng Panginoon na you, magpapagaling sa iyo. You need to come and lay hands on this and it falls down. Hindi kina kailangan hawakan isa-isa at bumagsak at gagaling ka. And they pick him up. At hawakan kita yun. Although he fell down, you ask him, Are you healed? He says, really? I'm still feeling the pain. Jesus didn't go that kind of rigmarole. Kahit bumagsak ka at sinabi, magaling ka na ba? Magaling ka na ba? Hindi yan ang makakapagpagaling. You didn't have to take a bottle of water. You need healing. Sprinkle on them. No, Jesus didn't do that. Hindi ka na kalangan yung banal na tubig. Tapos wiwisikan ka at gagaling ka. The word of power. Tignan natin ang kapangyarihan. The wonders that come with power. Ang kapangyarihan ng Panginoon. He doesn't have to use anything. Hindi niya kinakailangan gamitin ang anumang bagay. You know how God created the world? Alam mo ba kung paano nilikha ng Diyos ang mundo? He chose to bring some water from the rivers of life in heaven and sprinkle on anyone, hindi, anything. Hindi niya winisikan na winisikan ng tubig ang bawat isa. Hindi. What he did, he spoke the word. Nang sinabi niya ang isang salita. Everything was created. Isang salita lamang at naganap said, at nalikha na ang lahat ng bagay. There be the sun or the stars of the moon. Scientists tell us that there are uncountable number of stars with one word. Isang Creation salita lamang, ang mass. araw at lahat ng mga bituin sa kalangitan at san sinukob ay Let, nalikha ng Panginoon. Isang salita lamang. Let all the waters lamang. come to one side. All the waters Ang lahat come ng mga tubig. And then you say, fish come. Fish of many sizes, fish of many types, and fish of and, and many descriptions. They all came one word. Isang, sal isang salita lamang ang buong karabgatan sa buong mundo ay nilikha niya sa isang salita ang lahat ng mga isda. The same thing with healing. Ganon din sa pagpapalit. Anywhere you are. Kahit nasaan ka man. In the ends of the world. Kahit saan sa buong San Sinuco at sa buong mundo. In the name of Jesus. Ang panalangin sa pangalan ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. The power of God will heal you. Ang ang kapangyarihan ng Panginoong so, Diyos na magpagaling. At ngayon, they nang dumating ang gabi. Many 
that Di, were possessed with devils. Dinala sa harapan ng Panginoon and he ang lahat and he ng mga kinakasihan the devils, ng the spirit with his word. Pinalayas niya ang lahat ng mga espiritu. His word. Isang salita. Singular. Isa. Spectacular. Spectacular. Sobrang grabe. Singular. Supernatural. Spectacular Is, word. Heal them all. Isang makapangyarihang salita. Pinagaling ng Panginoon. And look at lahat. verse 17. In verse 17, Sa it says ito, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. Upang matupad ang sinabi ni Propeta Isaiah at sinabing kinuha niya ang lahat ng kasalanan at dinala niya ang lahat ng kasakitan. And the word of God assures us at sinabi ng banal na kasulatan Jesus Christ si Jesus Christo, the same ang tagapagligtas today and forever ang Panginoon ay pareho nung araw ngayon hanggang sa walang hanggan. Combine the two things we have read together. Combine the two things we have read together. Pagsamahin natin ang dalawang bagay na ito. All the ends of the earth. Sa buong mundo. And then Jesus the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. Ang Panginoon ay pareho noon, ngayon, at magpawalang hanggan. Because of what He is. Because of who He is. Dahil and He changes kung sino, not. Say, hindi nagbabago. All the ends of the earth can look up to him number one be saved ang lahat ng titingin sa kanya sa buong mundo ay maliligtas number two Pangalawa, be healed papagilingin i come to number three now at ngayon ay pupunta number tayo three, sa pangatlo the gentle's perception of the god of all possibilities in all sincerity ang paningin ng mga taong hindi nakakakilala sa kanya at ang kanyang sinseridad. The Gentiles perception. Yung mga tao na hindi nakakakilala sa When kanya. When we talk of Gentiles, we talk of all the nations outside Israel. Pag sinabing mga hentil, ito yung mga hindi hudyo. My own nation, a Gentile nation. Kahit na anong bansa. My own continent, a Gentile continent. Ang mga, lahat ng mga kontinente ay mga hentil na Your continent. own nation, The Philippines, you are not Israelites, you are not Jews, gentle nation. Ang mga Pilipino ay mga hentil din. And so, what's the perception of the Gentiles of the power, the possibilities in God in all their sincerity? And so, anong mati, ang, ano ang pagtingin ng lahat ng mga hentil, yung mga hindi nakakakilala sa Panginoon, ano ang pagtingin nila sa Diyos? We're looking Diyos? at Acts chapter 13. Basahin natin ang sinasabi Acts sa Banal na Kasulatan. Acts chapter 13, verse 47. Mga gawa, kabanatang labing tatlo, talatang... It was 47, for so, as the Lord commanded us, saying, I have sent thee to be a light of the Gentiles, Inutusan that thou shouldest be for the salvation unto the ends of the earth. Inutusan ng Panginoon at sabi, Ikaw ay inihahanda ko upang maging ilaw ng lahat ng mga hintil salvation, upang salvation ang kaligtasan the ends para the sa lahat ng tao sa buong mundo. In the Gentile world, sa lahat ng mga hintil they are not Jews hindi mga Hudyo they have not been to Jerusalem hindi, na, hindi pa sila nakarating they sa Jerusalem they have not taken of the water of Jordan hindi pa na kita ang tubig ng Jordan they have not stepped where Jesus was crucified hindi pa nakita kung saan ipinako si Jesus and they don't have to Hindi mo kailangan ng lahat ng mga ito. Some people say, I'll travel to the Holy Land. Ang sabi ng 
mga iba, magbabiyahe ako doon sa Holy Land. You can, but that doesn't bring salvation. Hindi ka maliligtas anuman ang punta mo doon sa Badawi. And to take the holy water from Jordan in Israel. You may, but that doesn't bring salvation. Pagpabautis mo man ako sa Jordan River, hindi magiging kaligtasan para sa atin. The Gentiles don't have to become Jews before they can be saved. Hindi kinakailangang mga hudyo tayo para tayo'y maligtas. You don't have to dress like the Jews before you can be saved. Hindi kinakailang magsuot tayo ng katulad ng mga Israelitas para maligtas tayo. Nothing in my hands I pray. Walang nasa aking puso ang madadala ko. Simply to the cross I cling. Sa pamamagitan ng paglapit sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Because whatever you do, Whatever you say, however you try to change, your outward look cannot bring salvation. Ano man ang baguhin natin sa ating sarili, ano man ang gawin natin, hindi ito sukat ikaligtas ni naman. Jesus is the light of the Gentiles. Si Jesus ang ilaw ng mga hentil. That thou shouldest be for the salvation of of the Gentiles unto the ends of the earth. Upang ang lahat ng mga tao sa buong mundo ay margaroon ng kaligtasan. Look at the next verse there in verse 48. In verse 48, it says, And when the Gentiles had this, Nang marinig ng mga hintil ito, I don't have to become a Jew to be saved. I don't have to travel to Nazareth to be saved. Hindi ko kinakailangang bumiyahe sa Nazareth para maligtas ako. I don't have to ako. see where the three crosses, one in the middle, one on this side, one on that side. I don't have to do that to be saved. Hindi ko kinakailangan ang pumunta dito at pumunta doon at gawi ang putahan ng mga bagay para ako'y maligtas sa atin. The gentle's perception. Ito ang paningin come at ginagawa ng mga hentil as you are come as you are lumapit ka kahit na sino ka come hali kayo lumapit in your condemnation come hali kayo lumapit in your sa fear sa of the future come kung may takot ka sa ngayon at mangyayari sa kinabukasan within hali kayo lumapit sa Panginoon of the coming judgment. Don't worry. Come. Kung ano man ang iyong suliranin, kung ano man ang kinababalisahan mo at kinakatakutan mo, lumapit ka sa Kanya. Whatever religion you belong to, come. Ano mang relihiyon mo na kinabibilangan, lumapit ka sa Kanya. The Gentiles' perception of God in all sincerity. Ang paningin ng mga hintil tungkol sa sinseridad ng Panginoong Diyos. And when God. the Gentiles had this, they were glad. Nung marinig ng mga hintil ito. And they glorified the word of the Lord. Nag, natuwa sila at nagpuri sila sa Panginoon. And as many as were dead to eternal life believe. At ang lahat ng mga nanampalataya sa Kanya or ay naligtas. to eternal life believe. Ang lahat ng mga nanampalataya ay naligtas. When you come, kung ikaw ay lalapit, when you believe, kung ikaw ay may pangangailangan, you're saved. Pareho. You might be 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, each one. Isang libo, dalawang libo, tatlong libo, you get saved. Pagka ikaw na nampalataya sa Kanya, maliligtas ka. We're told in the next verse, verse 49. Ang susunod na talata, It says, and the word of the Lord was published throughout all the region. Ang salita ng Dios ay kumalat sa buong region. Some people have been standing afar. Ang ibang mga tao ay nakatingin sa malayo. Oh, this is the religion of the Jews. Sino ito na nagaling sa mga Hudyo? So they lock themselves up in their own belief. Ang sabi nila, kung ano ang pinaniniwalaan ko, when ito you, na ang kakamatayan ko. All the Gentiles nang makita ng mga hentil ito. Believing and getting saved. Ang pananampalataya sa Panginoon believing ang magliligtas sa iyo. Lives transformed. Ang paniniwala, pananampalataya sa Panginoon, believing iyan ang magbabago sa atin. Ang pananampalataya sa Panginoon 
ang every, magpapagaling sa atin. Every city, every village, every island, they said, we too will want to believe, come and give us the word of the Lord. Anumang siyudad, anumang barangay, anumang lugar, at lumapit ka sa kanya, at makinig sa salita niya, maliligtas ka. And the word of the Lord was published. Ang Preach, salita ng Panginoon ay narinig ipinahayag all the region. sa lahat ng rehon, sa lahat ng lugar. This is what you are hearing. At ito ring salita ng Diyos ang naririnig mo ngayong gabi ito. As we are getting you safe here today, in every land, the salvation of the Lord will come to them. Ang salita ng Panginoon, ang kaligtasan ng Panginoon ay mararating kahit sino man. As we are getting healed here today, the word and the power, the wonder of healing will get to every island. Kung ikaw ay lalapit sa Panginoon, ang pagpapagaling ng Panginoon ay lalapit o pupunta sa anmang lugar. Number one, Isa, the generous promise of God to save. Ang pangako ng Diyos ng pagliligtas. Number two, Pangalawa, the genuine power. That heals. Ang tunay na kapangyarihan na makapagpapagaling. At pangatlo, perception. ang paningin ng mga hintil. That now you know. Subalit ngayon ay alam mo na. Your salvation is guaranteed. Ang kaligtasan mo now you ay know guaranteed. Ngayon alam mo na. That your healing ang is guaranteed tonight. Ay tunay na mangyayari ngayong gabing ito. I see. I nakikita see. Ko, nakikita ko. I believe. Naniniwala ako. I receive. Tinatanggap ko. I perceive. Nakikita ko. I believe. Naniniwala ako. I receive. Tinatanggap ko. You have seen salvation is for you. Ang kaligtasan ay para sa iyo. You believe salvation is for you. Manampalataya ka. Ang you receive the salvation that belongs to you. Tanggapin mo ang kaligtasan ito ngayon, ang kaligtasan ay tatanggapin mo. You are going to receive it now. Tatanggapin mo ito ngayon said, din. You are going to receive your salvation now. Tatanggapin mo ang kaligtasan ngayon. Ex bowed and eyes closed. Tumungo tayo lahat Ex at tayo manalang. Ex eyes closed. Tumungo you tayo. You perceive. You perceive. perceive. Tignan ninyo. That this salvation is yours. Ang kaligtasan ito ay tatanggapin mo. You believe. Naniniwala ka. That this nananampalataya ka. is yours. Ang kaligtasan ito ay tatanggapin ko. And now you want to receive the At salvation God I has provided for you. At ngayon ay naniniwala ka na tatanggapin mo ang kaligtasan ito na ibinibigay ng Panginoon. You raise up your hand. Itaas mo ang iyong kamay Present ngayon. Salvation. At sabi mo ang kaligtasan. Perceive salvation. Tanggapin mo ang kaligtasan. Possess salvation. Ang kinin mo ang kaligtasan. As you raise up your hand, you can stand up. I need the salvation of the Lord. Habang ikaw ay tumatayo ngayon, Look itaas mo me. Ang iyong kamay, all the ends of the earth and be ye saved. Tumingin ka sa Panginoon, tumingala ka sa Panginoon you at tanggapin mo siya at ikaw ay maliligtas. That salvation is just tonight. Ang kaligtasan ay nasa atin ngayong gabing ito. Stand up wherever you are. Tumayo ka. You are coming to Christ Kahit now. Kahit nasaan ka come, sa lugar na ito. Come, come is a word of action. Ang paglapit, ang paglapit ay isang pagkilos. Come is a word of motion. Hali kayo, ang paglapit sa Kanya ay isang paglapit sa Kanya. And so as you call upon the Lord, and you are looking up to the Lord, and you are getting saved now, leave where you are, take whatever you have there, don't leave anything behind, and come in front here. That's what Jesus said, Come unto me. At kung nais mong lumapit sa Kanya, inaanyayahan ka niya, lumapit ka sa Kanya, at pumut pumarito ka. Step out of the crowd and come. Tumindig ka 
nasaan ka man at you dumapit perceive, ka rito. You perceive, this salvation is for me. At sabihin mo, ang kaligtasang ito ay para sa akin, tinatanggap ko ito. You believe this salvation is for me. Nananampalataya ka, manampalataya ka, ng kaligtasang ito ay para sa iyo. And now you come to receive. At ngayon lumapit ka come. para tanggapin. Come. Lumapit kayo. Come. Lumapit kayo. And receive. At tanggapin mo ang kaligtasan. Far away from the back. Leave there, come here. Lumapit kayo. Huwag mong intindihin ang nasa likod mo o sino man. Kung nais nice mong tanggapin are, ang Panginoon, lumapit ka sa kanya. Tanggapin mo. Tanggapin mo ang Panginoon, lumapit ka sa kanya. I perceive. I believe. Nakikita ko. Ako'y nananampalataya. I come to receive. Tatanggapin ko siya. Keep on coming. Hali kayo. Hali kayo. Keep on coming. Hali kayo. Hali kayo. Lumapit sa Panginoon. Lahat ng nangangailangan ng kaligtasan. Nais niyong tumingala sa Panginoon. Nais niyong tanggapin ang kaligtasan ay binibigay ng Panginoon. Nais niyong manalig sa Kanya sa gabing ito. Hali kayo kung saan man kayo nakatayo. Hinihintay kayo ng Panginoon dito. Lumapit kayo sa Kanya. Lumapit kayo sa Kanya. Manampalataya sa kap ka sa Panginoon, tanggapin mo ang kaligtasan na inaalay sa atin ng Panginoon. Lumapit ka sa Panginoon. Nakikita ko doon sa malayo pa, halika, halika, halika kayo. May lugar pa, may lugar pa para sa isa. Come on, come on. Hinihintay ka ng Panginoon dito. The Lord is waiting for you. The Lord is waiting for you. Praise God. Hihintayin ka namin, hihintayin namin kayong makarating ka dito. Kayong mga nananampalataya sa Panginoon, lumalapit sa Panginoon, kumikilala sa Panginoon, nais nice yung tanggapin ang kaligtasan, hali kayo. Tatanggapin ninyo ang kaligtasan sa gabing ito. Amen. Amen. Oh, purihin ang Panginoon, purihin ang Panginoon. Sige po, patuloy lang tayo sa paglapit sa Panginoon. Hihintayin namin kayo maging nandyan sa bleacher. Hihintayin namin kayo dito. Come on, we will wait for you. The Lord is waiting for you. Come on, lumapit tayo sa Panginoon. Naghihintay po ang mga pastor dito. Ang mga counselors, ipapanalangin kayo, kakausapin kayo. We're going to pray together now. Mananalangin na tayo ngayon. You perceive the salvation is yours. Nakikita mo ngayon ng kaligtasan ay sa iyo ngayon. Naniniwala kayo. Naniniwala kayo ng kaligtasan ay sa iyo ngayon. Now you look unto the Lord and receive. Nakikita mo, Panginoon, tumitingala ka sa Panginoon at tinatanggap mo ang kaligtasan. You turn away from darkness and turn to the light. Iniiwanan mo ang kadiliman at ikaw pumupunta sa kaliwanagan. You turn away from tradition and you turn ikaw to the truth. Ikaw ay umiiwas na. Tinatalikuran mo ang lahat ng mga tradisyon. You turn away from your sin and Di, turn to the Savior. Tinatalikdan mo ang lahat ng kasalanan mo at ikaw ngayon ay niyayakap mo ang tagapagligtas. Raise up your hand now and pray Itaas with you. Itaas nyo lahat ng lumalapit. Almighty God. O oh, makapangyarihang Diyos. Your people have responded to your invitation. Ang iyong mga tao ay you tumutugon said, sa iyong invitasyon. Me, and they're looking unto you. Nakatingala Panginoon sa iyo ang iyong mga anak for salvation. At hinihintay nila, hinihingi nila, tinatanggap ang pagliligtas. For your power to set them free from the bondage of sin. Ikaw Diyos ang makakapagpalaya. 
Ano mang kalipinan ng kasalanan. Grant them that salvation. Panginoon, ipagkaloob mo sa kanila ang iyong kaligtasan. Forgive their sin. Patawarin mo ang lahat ng kasalanan. Turn them to the right side of your righteousness. Turn them to the right side of your righteousness. Pumanta ka sa katwiran. Bring the joy of salvation. Bigyan mo sila ng kaligayahan ng kaligtasan ng Panginoon. Ang kapayapaan na dumadaloy sa kaligtasan. At bigyan mo sila ng katagumpayan na sama ng kaligtasan. Panginoon, pakinggan mo ang mga panalangin ito. We have looked unto you and we are saved. Tumitingala kami sa iyo, Panginoon, at tinatanggap namin ang kaligtasan. Not because of what we have done, but because of what Christ did on the cross of Calvary. Hindi dahil sa anuman ang kaya namin gawin, kundi dahil sa ginawa ni Kristo sa krus ng Calvary. Because you are God and there is none else. Ikaw lamang ang tanging Diyos at wala ng iba. Bear witness with their hearts that they are now children of God. Banal na Espiritu, banal na Espiritu, itatak mo at sabihin mo sa kanila na sila ngayon ay anak na ng Diyos. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Salamat, Panginoon. Salamat, Panginoon. Ikaw, Tinanggap mo ang kaligtasan ngayon. Ligtas ka na. Sa pangalan ng Panginoong Yesus. Amen. Magpalain kayo ng Panginoon. Manatili po tayong nakatayo. And give you the sleep to feel. Your name is written already in the book of life in heaven. Now we need to write now your name so we can follow up on you. Ang Panginoon, ngayong gabi, isinulat na ang pangalan sa aklat ng buhay sa langit. Pero, Amen! We praise the Lord for what you have done tonight. Those of you who have come forward to give your life to Christ, this is the greatest decision you can ever take in your life. And I congratulate you for it. Right now, for follow-up, to help you further. Our counselors are very close to you. They are there right now. Give them the correct information about yourself. Clearly, give them the correct information about yourself, written in capital letters, so that we'll be able to read it, to help you, to trace you. Put everything clear with the counselor. Counselors, please try to do that very well. Do it diligently. Do it well, so that the follow-up will be sure. We are not missing any of them. Please, let's write everything legibly, correctly. As we are doing that in Alpha location here, all other church locations all over the world, where you are using satellites, or you are connected with YouTube, or connected with other gadgets, and you are, people have taken this show like this in your location there, do exactly what we are doing now there. As directed by your leader there, your pastor in that location, let the names of the people that responded to this altar call now be written perfectly, properly for clear follow-up. Please, let's do it diligently. This is, this is very important. This is very important. This is very important. Let's do it well. Let's collate all the, the sleep properly and get everything done. Why we are doing that on the field here, or you are doing that on your location church there, where people have given their life to Christ tonight, then let's listen to how we handle those on the uh, social media. Now, if you are watching online, and you have given your life to Christ after the pastor's message this evening, there is a link. That link is GCK hq.org slash connect. I say it again. gckhq.org 
org slash connect that you find below your player, your device, whichever you are using. Either it's iPhone, Android phone, or iPad, or if it's a computer, whatever. Down there, you find that there. As you click on that link, and then that link will take you to a place you fill a form to give your details for us so we can assist you further in your new work with Christ. This is very important. Kindly do it right now. Wherever you are now, do it clearly, quickly. Then, those of us who are on radio or television, now you have given your life to Christ tonight, after the pastor's message this evening, what you should do now is that you just, you just please send your name, your phone number, and your location address through SMS. Do an SMS right now. Send it through your phone or, or through WhatsApp to this number I want to give you now. Listen to this number which you are going to use so we can receive your details to follow you up, to help you for that. Plus 234 915 Four nine two six three. I will take it again so that you can get it properly. That's where you are going to send your SMS to, either through WhatsApp or through SMS for your phone. Plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. Please do that very well. As you fill all the information, both here in the Alpha location, on the sleep, or in your church location where you are, let's do this seriously. This is most important to help the converts. As you do that online as well, be aware now that there will be a special meeting, lunch hour with Jesus. For those who are in the Alpha location here, who are giving their lives to Jesus during this program, during this GCK, and tonight, the, the lunch hour with Jesus will take place tomorrow by 3 p.m. right here in the hall towards our back there, our right hand side at the back. That's where it will take place. Don't miss 3 p.m. So that you can receive more and be taught and be helped how you will continue with Christ. The Lord will give you grace as you do this clearly. Converse Rally. There will be a special online banquet for all those watching online who are filling the form now from the link we gave you. Who gave their lives to Christ tonight. That, com that banquet will be on Sunday 7th, this coming Sunday. More details about this will be sent to you. Our pastor, the convener, will be delighted to have you join this special banquet. Thank you. God bless you. For Alpha location here, Believer's Banquet will also take place on Sunday 7th here in this venue. By the hall, by the right hand, which I've been pointing to you, for those who are having the lunch hour with Jesus, is the same level. So you come from all over. And we should arrange to help these converts through, through the sleeves to locate them and help them to come here. Let the whole church, let the whole leaders, the whole workers dedicate to this because this is the major, most important issue for the GCK. So we can help the converts to stand. Let's work on that. Go after them and help them. You yourself, as a convert now, this is the way you can continue with Christ. Don't play about it. You must be there. Also in all other regions, states, nations, globally, we should also organize this banquet, Believer's Banquet, on Sunday 7th. Very important, from 3 p.m. The Lord will help us. There will be ministration from the man of God. To all the converts. So they, he, he's delighted to, to, to help them to stand. Let's bring them. Let's connect them. 
either the one on online or the physical one. The Lord will help us to do it well. I want to now come back to the Alpha location now to see how far we have gone. Let's quickly do it well. Put every detail of the converts. And let's make sure that the converts lips are well gathered together to be handled properly for the follow-up to be thorough. The Lord will give us grace to do it thoroughly in Jesus' name. And now if you are finished, if they are finished with you, you can go back to your seat. Those who are still doing it, can we see where you still have people you are attending to? Can you raise up your hand? If you are still attending to Converse, yes, let's handle it. We are waiting for you. Please uh, do that very well. Put everything clear. Do it well. Let's ensure that the slips are well submitted and collated for the follow-up to be thorough. Please, we are waiting. And why this is going on now? Because very soon the man of God is coming again to pray for us for our miracles, healing, signs and wonders. So you should be praying. You should be pouring your heart to God now and telling him, Lord, I won't miss you tonight. God is in this camp in a mighty way tonight and is going to walk. Begin to talk to the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Call upon God. As I will not go empty handed tonight, you must meet me tonight at the point of my need. Whatever your desire, your need, you should be praying now. Let's prayer be going on everywhere. Even while over there you are connected at home, connected in your church, connected anywhere you are in any country of the world, in any place, in any part, in Africa, in Asia, in Europe, in America, Canada, all over the world. Let's prayer be going on right now. So that as the man of God comes tonight, you will not miss your miracle. Talk to the Lord. Pray. Express your desires to the Lord now. Let's be calling upon the Lord. Cancel us. I believe you are true now. Where you are not yet true, please continue to do it properly. Very well. Our leaders will help us check up. Where the counselors have finished it. How many, of, how many of us are still having people to attend to, converse to attend to? Those who took the decision tonight. Can you raise up your hand? Where you are? Yes. Thank you very much. Continue to work and do that quickly. Let's see how to put that clear and finish it before the man of God comes up for the miracle prayer tonight. Let's remember all the banquets, the online meeting with Jesus next Sunday, 7th of uh, July. That's a great day, special day. We should not play with it. We, we do not play with it at all. We must work hard to bring all our converts together as well as you who have given your life to Christ yourself should endeavor to be there. The people that gave their life to Christ in the early church, they on their own were following the, the, the apostles, coming to the fellowship regularly. So you should make sure that you follow through so that the Lord can help you to stand. Have we finished? Have we completed the, the exercise of writing the converse name? Let's get it done. Do it well. Do it thoroughly. This is very important. This is very essential. Make sure the cards are well written, legibly, with capital letters for us to be able to trace them to help them further. God bless you. While we are praying, while we are praying, while we are seeking the face of the Lord for our miracles, the Lord will visit you tonight in a special way. God is here. God is going to do marvels tonight, wonders in our lives tonight. When you finish the counseling, when every, the last person has been attended to, just raise up your hand there so we can be sure, we can know you are finished. Once you are true, Please raise your hand up that 
we are is completed. While we are praying, seeking the face of the Lord tonight, seeking the face of the Lord for your desires to be met. The Lord will visit you, visit us all together tonight. Yes, counselors, are we true? Once you are true, you raise your thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Before the man of God comes to pray for us tonight, can you listen quickly to this? You see, I'm, I'm sure you came for miracle. Did you come for miracle? If you came for miracle, can I see your hand up? I came for miracle. Let me see your hand up. Say, I came for miracle. You will get your miracle. You will not leave your miracle behind and go home. Say, a better amen. amen. When Peter prayed for that man, born, born lame, he lifted him up, acted. He acted on him. He rose him. Then the miracle took place and he began to walk. Now after the man of God finished praying now, you will not just be moving. You will exercise. You shake your leg. You shake your leg like this. You shake your hand. You shake your head. You bend your back. Anywhere the sickness is, they will jump out. I said they will jump out. You are in the house with your family watching in Europe or America, anywhere you are. You are in satellite location in your churches. There, after the prayer, it's not a time to be moving up and down. It's a time to demonstrate. Shake your body. Shake your hand. Look, do something with yourself. Your eye, your ear. So that by the grace of God, we shall have multiple and mass miracles tonight. In Jesus' name. Are you ready? The man of God is coming now. Your healing is coming now. Ang kagalingan mo ay dumarating na ngayon. Everybody standing up. Ang lahat ay tumayo. If you can. Kung kaya nating tumayo. As we mention the name of Jesus. Sa ating pagsambit ng pangalan ng Panginoong Jesus. The name of Jesus brings healing to you. Ang salita ang Panginoon, ang As pangalan yan ang magpapagaling sa iyo. Pag sinabi ko Ang pangalan ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. The name of Jesus brings ang, deliverance to you. Ang pangalan ng Panginoong Heso Kristo ang magbibigay ng kagalingan sa iyo. Open your blind eyes tonight. Kung ikaw bulag, makakakita ka. If you are in the wheelchair, His power will come upon you, lift you up, and you stand up. Ang the nasa walk. wheelchair, itatayo ka ng Panginoon, makakatayo ka. If anyone has Demonic problem, you are sin, it will set you free. Kung sino man ang nakakaranas ng pagsanib ng anumang masamang espiritu, palalayain ka ng Panginoon. Break every yoke. Ang lahat ng mga pagkaalipin, papalayain ka ng Raise Panginoon. Raise up one hand. Itaas ang inyong mga kamay. And let the other hand where you have a challenge. At ngayon, yung isang kamay mo, hawakan mo kung saan mayroong karamdaman. If you have anyone at home in the hospital, raise up your hand for them. Kung As we mention the name of Jesus, uh, get to them at home and heal them. When you get back home, you'll find them healed. Marahil, Yung mga kasama mo sa bahay ay mayroong karamdaman. Maniwala din tayo, manalangin tayo ngayon sa pangalan ng Panginoong Isus, pagagalingin din ang mga nasa tahanan. I perceive, I believe, I Tumi receive. Tumitingala ako sa Panginoon ngayon, tinatanggap ko ang aking ang Panginoon, naniniwala ako sa Kanya at tinatanggap ko ang kagalingan. Ready for the prayer now. Mananalangin ako ngayon. Father, in the name of Jesus. Panginoon sa pangalan ni Yesu Kristo. You said we should look up unto you and be saved and be healed. Sinabi mo, tumingala kami sa iyo, tumingin kami sa iyo, maliligtas kami everyone at gagaling kami. Everyone here, everyone they are standing for, we're looking unto you. Ang lahat na nakatayo ay tumitingala sa iyo. Your power heal the sick. 
Ang kapangyarihan mo pinapagaling ang Your lahat ng karamdaman. At nananalangin, nanani, naniniwala kami. You are the God of all possibilities. It, Do the impossible in every life. Walang imposible sa iyo, Panginoong Diyos. Let the name of Jesus cancel all their pain. Palayain ng Panginoong Heso Kristo ang lahat ng karamdaman. Whatever the problem is, Anumang suliranin, from the head to the toe, mula sa ulo hanggang sa paa, touch them and heal them in Jesus' name. Hipuin mo po sila, Panginoon. Pagalingin mo sila, Panginoon. Sa pangalan ng Panginoong Yesus. Any demonic problem, Lord, I cast that evil spirit away right now. Sino mang kinakasya ng mahal na masamang espiritu, pinapalayas kita sa pangalan ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. Lord, we ask you, Panginoon, hinihiling namin sa iyo, do so many swelling in their body. Kung sino man na may kamagaan sa kanilang katawan. Whether it's because of cancer, marahil ito ay dahil sa cancer, or any other swelling, o anuman itong karamdamang ito, Panginoon, Lord, Panginoon, idadalangin ko, touch them, hipuin mo sila, swelling now, In Jesus name. Alisin mo ang pamamagang ito sa pangalan ng Panginoong Hesus. Lord, we are asking for Panginoon, this one. Panginoon, ko. Terminal incurable disease. Kung sino man na mayroong karamdamang nakamamatay. I pray Lord, you send forth your power. Panginoon, hipuin mo ng iyong kapangyarihan. That terminal disease be healed now. In Jesus' name. Ang nakamamatay na karamdamang ito, pagalingin mo sa pangalan ng Panginoong Yesus. And those who have oppression or sickness and disease by evil spirit, by traditional spirit, by anything that has come upon them, Lord, I take authority over all those spirits now. I cast them out. Heal them in Jesus' name. Ano mang masamang espiritu, kapangyarihan na hindi galing sa Diyos, Pinapalayas ko sa pangalan ng Panginoong Heso Kristo at sa kapangyarihan ng Panginoong Yesus, pinapalaya ko. Those who are blind, lahat ng bulag, you have cataract, lahat mang may cataract, you have glaucoma, mayroong glaucoma, and whatever bandage of the devil is stopping you from seeing, I remove that bandage, begin to see in Jesus' name. Ano mang dahilan kaya hindi ka makakita, inutusan ko, Gumaling ka, makakita ka ngayon sa pangalan Lord, ng Panginoong Yesus. Open their blind eyes. Panginoon, buksan mo ang kanilang Check mata. Take all the covering and the dimness of sight away. Alisin mo ang lahat ng dahilan ng kabulagan I'm kaya hindi Lord, sila makikita. Those who are paralyzed. Hinihiling ko Panginoon para those are doon sa lahat ng mga joints. paralisado, yung masakit ang tuhod One leg at mga shorter than the other. Ano man ang karamdaman sa mga buto? One arm shorter than the other. Marahil ito ay sa balikat. Manifest your power right now. Ipakita mo Panginoon ang iyong kapangyarihan. Destroy the works of the devil. Sirain mo ang gawa ng That paralysis come out in Jesus name. Ang lahat ng paralysis Lumayas ka sa pangalan ng Panginoon. Ang lahat ng hindi makalakad, tumindig. One leg shorter than the other. That short leg, in the name of Jesus, grow out na. Ang isang maiksi, ang paa, ngayon, inuutos ang ko, lumago ka, at ngayon, mapantay ang iyong paglakad. Lord, I pray for those who are deaf and dumb. Hinihiling ko para sa hindi makarinig at makapagsalita. That deafness come out now. Ang pagkabingi, lumabas ka ngayon. And the dumbness be removed in Jesus' name. Ang pagkabingi, ang pagkapipi, inutos ang kong umalis ka sa katawan. Everywhere, perform your miracle of healing. Lahat, hinihiling ko ang kagalingan. En mass. Everywhere. Kahit saan. Everyone, sa lahat ng narito ngayon, whatever the condition, to my right, to my left, to the front, to the back, in Jesus' name, 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 in Jesus
Confirm the signs and the wonders. Ang Amen. lahat ng makakabalaghan at ang lahat ng himila. Be incredible in every life. Amen. Ang lahat ng imposible magiging posible. Testimony in every mouth. Ngayon, ipahayag mo ang ginawa ng Panginoon. Manifestation. Ipakita mo and the demonstration anuman. of your signs and Panginoon, wonders. Panginoon, ipakita mo ang lahat ng himala at makababalaghan. Thank you, ginagawa. Lord. It is done. Sa pangalan ng Panginoong Yesus, salamat po. In Naganap Jesus na. Name, Sa pangalan ni Yesus, dalangin ko. Amen. You have Amen. got it. Healing, you have got it. Amen. Deliverance, you have got it. Amen. Take up yourself now. Look at where you had the problem before. Tignan mo ang iyong kalagayan ngayon. You see, it is gone. Ang lahat ng kasalanan mo dahil tinanggap mo pa noon, wala na yan. You are coming out with your healing. At ang iyong kagalingan tinatanggap mo ngayon. Yes, it is done. Naganap na. Yes, it is done. Oo, natapos na. Yes, yes, yes. It is done. Oh, 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 naganap na. Check up yourself, you'll find the miracle there.